In this video, we're going to take a look at how to update the firmware on my Nano VNA H4. Now specifically, we're going to look at how to do it using Windows 10. Of course, if you have a different version of the Nano VNA or you're not using Windows 10, your process may differ, so be sure to do your research online. Now the firmware I'm starting from is the one that came on the unit when I got it. And if we go to the config menu and version, we can see that it's the version from 8555. Uh, version 0 0.5.0 from February uh, 2020. The version I'm going to update to is by one of the developers called Dislord version 1.0.39. It's got some nice features like a 401 point display and a number of other things. Now the firmware files for the Nano VNA are available in a couple of different formats potentially. Uh, a hex format or a bin format. I'm going to use something called the DFU format and most of the versions that you can find online have got a DFU file and it makes for a really easy update. So let's get started. So in order to do the DFU update you're going to need this utility from ST and uh, I'll put the link to this uh, website in the video notes down below. So you go to this site and scroll down and click get software. Now, of course, it uh, would be great if you just downloaded the executable, but what it does is uh, you have to actually register with the site and give them your email address. Then they send you an email with a download link for you to download the zip file. So once you register and you get your email with a download link, you'll get this, uh, you can download this zip file right here. Inside the zip file is a couple of text files and this setup executable. The setup executable will install the defuse demo software which is what you use to install the DFU file into the Nano VNA. Now keep in mind uh, getting this uh, defuse demo software, downloading it and installing it is something you only have to do once. Once it's installed you can use it to update firmware on the Nano VNA at any time. So the next is where you might find the firmware. So if you go to the Nano VNA users uh, group on groups.io one place to find uh, sources of firmware is go to the wiki. And if you go to the wiki page, you'll see there's a sources of firmware here. And I found that this is uh, some of the older releases and things like that. In fact, the original release that I, I used uh, came right from this area here. But if we go back to the files location from the uh, groups page and go to this link here, Dislords Nano VNA H firmware, this is where I found the version that I am using, going to upgrade to, Nano VNA v1.0.39. And you can download that file from here. And it's a .rar file, which is similar to zip. You just need a utility to unzip that. So now you should have the DFU file that you want to upload to the Nano VNA. In this case, this is the original version that I had in the unit. And this version here, 1.039, is the one that I want to install on my unit. So now here's how you actually go ahead and do it. So now that you've downloaded and installed the Defuse demo software, you just go to the ST Microelectronics folder and start up the Defuse demo. So when you run the Defuse demo software, it looks a lot like this. So what we need to do is just configure the Nano VNA to connect to this software. So to put the Nano VNA into DFU mode to be ready to be uh, updated with firmware, uh, you shut it off push down on the uh, multifunction rocker and while holding it down turn it on. Now it looks like the screen is dark and it is. It will stay dark uh, and that's how you know it's in DFU mode. Now with it in DFU mode connect the USB cable to the computer and the USB cable uh, into the Nano VNA and then the Nano VNA will show up in the Defuse software. After connecting the Nano VNA in DFU mode, you'll see uh, this screen kind of populate here with some information. And you can go down and click the Choose button here and navigate to the version of firmware that you want to load. Click it and hit Open. Once it's open, then you can click on the Upgrade button. Once you do that, it's going to give you a little warning. Do you really want to do this? And just say yes. And it will go through and erase the current version that's in the firmware and download the new version and will tell you when it's done. Uh, once it's done, I've had just hit quit or sometimes I'll hit this leave DFU mode 
and just hit quit while it's in process there. It doesn't really matter. The screen on the Nano VNA uh, will just uh, light up with the new version of firmware. So after quitting the Defuse uh, demo software, uh, the unit basically boots up in the new firmware. And if I unplug the USB port, it just restarts one more time. Okay, so let's check the version to be sure. We go to the config menu and hit version, and I can see 1.0.39. Now there's a chance after you update firmware that the touchscreen calibration won't be right anymore, in which case it'll look like it's behaving kind of erratically when you try to use the touchscreen. If that's the case, don't panic. You can, you can very easily recalibrate the touchscreen. If you push down on the multifunction to bring up the menu, and scroll down to config, and then scroll to the touch cow at the top, and then it just asks you to touch the upper left, just do that with your stylus, touch the lower right, do that with the stylus, and then just hit save. And now the touch screen is calibrated, and you're good to go. Well, I hope this video has taken some of the mystery out of how to update the firmware on your Nano VNA. And again, specifically this was for the Nano VNA H and H4, and uh, using Windows 10. Uh, other uh, methods for updating firmware with other operating systems and other versions of the Nano VNA are going to be similar, but uh, you can find those instructions uh, through the wiki page and the uh, groups.io Nano VNA user group. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And uh, thanks again, as always, for watching.